to my channel welcome to another diamond art club unboxing now i'm just going to slide off this sleeve just to show it's freshly opened haven't looked at it yet it's once upon a dark night this is by mandy manzano there are still some in stock but it is low if you want to get in get in quick all right it is a square so we've got the blue square we've got the blue line um designating it's a square it is big but not huge it's 55 by 80 uh, we've got the thumbnail we've got the drills the, the um, kit and we have the sticker now this is sorry this is a square kit so we've got the new multi places that they're doing are the skinny heads which are fantastic we've got two waxes a pen we've got the squishy um, support we have some bags and we have a square um, tweezer part so you get the dangerous tweezers that will stab you and not seek any apologies uh, 39 colors in this baby and whoa four ABs cool all right so what I do with this big sticker because it's been curled this is basically what you would do for a double hot double-sided adhesive kit um, or canvas you just well this is what I do okay I don't know that anyone else actually does this but what I do is just peel it off the back and look I've gone from the curl to the relaxed that actually goes into a folder anyway so it's further relaxed and pressed flat but it just releases that curve just a little bit quicker all right now the sleeve goes I don't keep them and the thumbnail will actually fit along the bottom of the box if you want to store them so that you can just see the ends um, you may see in some of the groups have that people have their stash and you can just see the ends of the boxes and those just sit on the ends you can do what you like with those to be honest um the beauty with this sticker you can I uh, will I slice off that it's actually quite a small um inventory uh, print they've actually compacted it it's a huge picture though it's a huge image it is going to be very dark I'm a little bit concerned how dark it's going to be but let's take a look so drills out now if you're not familiar with Diamond Art Club look at the numbers holy cow um, they do give you the nine step instructions there is a discount code in here but there is also a discount code in the packing instructions in the packing slip so one of those kind of things there is a discount code on there too and there is a discount code on the canvas do you know there's a discount code floating around there's a nine step instruction there and it is in uh, english spanish and french so if you've got people in your life that are bilingual uh, that is handy for them now um you don't have to do this purchasing but um i do uh, because i've got the video i suppose and i'm showing you this but i roll it the other way around um, you'll see a lot of creators do this. Some people will just leave it lie and let it relax on its own. You can do either. If you're not under time pressure, you can do either. Um, and this does store flat for me. I have a monster TV box that I line my canvases into. So I'm going to let that just sit the other way around just for a few seconds while I get into the drills. No, I only have one Monster TV and it'll be a while before we get another Monster TV. Uh, now, this is not a uh, new kit. This is an old kit. So if you are really keen on this, then you need to get in fairly soon. Now, I actually don't know what it's based on. You know how that's really stupid um, that I didn't pay attention to what it's based on. Right. Oh, yes, it's Macbeth. Of course, it's Lady Macbeth. Um, come you spirits uh, that tend on mortal thoughts and sex me here and fill me with thy crown to the toe top full you of 
dirtest cruelty. May thick my blood stop up the access and passage to remorse, that no compunctious visiting of nature shake my fell purpose, nor keep peace between the effect and it. Come to my woman's breasts and take my milk for gall, you murdering ministers. Wherever in your sightless substances you wait on nature's mischief. By Shakespeare. Um, that's a little bit kind of... Well, right. Um, okay. Well, yeah, it was. It's been a long time since I've read Shakespeare. Um, doesn't sound very inviting. Um, 55 by 80. Now, from my point of view, working on a 55 is actually really good. It's, um, it's a nice size for my desk and I don't have to move things too much. Um, 80 is long, but I roll up my canvases anyway. And this is like big and in your face and detailed and wow. Okay. So we have four ABs that we're going to be looking out for. We have number one, number two, number three, and number four. So that's pretty easy. Okay, so number one looks like it's pink. Number two is looking like it's yellow. And number three is looking like it's red. And number four is 141, which is white. So where? Um, normally with Mandy, it's what I call the silver lining. Um, now, here's a point. If you find this inventory here is a bit too small for you as a guide, photocopy the canvas. That's what I used to do when the days before we had stickers. That's much, much bigger. If you have a sight problem, well, diamond painting might not be your thing anyway, but um, if you have a sight problem, you might enjoy the bigger print. Or you can just copy this because that's easy to take to a photocopier and blow it up um, as big as you need to. All What's right. Uh, yes. Uh oh. Oh, he's broken his glasses, and they were his favourite glasses. He's going to have a Harry Potter cello tape around things now. No, oh, he's going to do something stupid. Dear. Okay. So one. Uh, one is up here in the flower. I have a spare. Okay. Uh, four is here in her forehead. So probably in these twinkly bits through the image so if you see the so you've got the star here you've got star kind of here so the bright sparks are the white AB uh, we've got some twos and threes in the flame like just hugging the side there and the side uh, nothing in her clothes there's very minor gridding on the square canvases from Diamond Art Club. This is a white grid. The colour blocking is nice. It's not overly confetti, not overly colour block. Ooh, this is a three all the way down the edge here of her clothes. There's a three over there on the side as well. There's some fours, as I said, in those, I don't know, orbs. And there's some one down here, the bottom of her dress. And there's some one over here, just off camera. Um, where? So, okay, it's the flames and it's lots of the orange trim over here on her dress. Very, very subtle. Okay. Interesting. And it does keep going. And keep going. All right. Let me get that out of the way and we'll have a look at the drills. And as I say, this isn't a new kit, so these drills are not necessarily how you normally get drills from Diamond Art Club. Okay, so just be aware of that. All right, now I've just put you on Zoom so you can see. So 310, we've got one, two of those. These are all the big, big, big bags. 3799, which is a uh, dark grey. 3770. I really like those big print on the bags. So you've got um, nice big print on those bags. And then the back, you can see all of that gorgeous colour. Okay. 317 is a dark grey. 413 is another dark grey. This is going to be quite dark. You've got your light around the flame, and then you've got the rest is quite muted. So you might want to 
space this one out if dark is not your thing. 3860 is a kind of uh, pink blush. 814 is a dark, dark cherry red. Two, three. Three of those. Um, 814. So lots of those in her dress. Just trying to. So, okay, so it's cash. All right, 939 is a navy. 815, you have two of those in a dark red. That would look like it's more in those swirls behind her um, head. 321, cherry red. They'd be getting down into the highlights of the dress. 779, then that is a kind of reddish brown. 758, which is a peach kind of color and I'm seeing a bit of concaving in those drills in the backs of the drills um, the concave is not a disaster it's not a dimple but uh, and in the poured blue it's less of an issue um, 838 um, those drills are fine it's a brown uh, 945 another peach 3861 which is another pink kind of grey and 823 which is a navy alright Now, I do that double kind of zigzag because of how I store them. Get the next lot of biggies. The ABs are going to be small bag. So, 3371, we've got, oh my gosh, 43371. That is the black brown. Okay, so 3371 is, or the brown black even, it's as dark a brown as you're going to get. Okay. 938, two of those. Another brown and 318 is a kind of brownish grey. Alright. Now, are you ready for some bling? Okay, 414 is a grey. 666 is your bright, bright red, which is the same colour as my nail varnish. 961 is pink. 436 is an orange. 356 is a pink. 133, look at that. It is a bright, bright, carroty orange. And that shimmer is pink. Okay, so the AB coating on this can be anything really from silver to blues to pinks. It really varies and it doesn't necessarily have any correlation with the color that it's on either. It's very, very strange. So when I've had sparklers in the past, um, the sparklers being from uh, Timor, uh, I have actually gone through on that last video that I did of that and describe how the shimmer changes the color of the drill. So while you might be kind of thinking, oh, I want to replace an orange with an orange, you might get a different effect. And this is one of those examples where it's slightly different. So it's a pinky kind of sheen um, on the orange on 133. But it's a very rich orange underneath. Um, and then you get that pink kind of ice shimmer. Okay, on, on that. So there you go. All right, just so you're aware. Uh, 3350, which is a pink. 336, which is a navy. Oh, there is a round. There is a couple of rounds. I uh, know there's quite a few rounds in there. Interesting. All right. I will have to keep an eye on that one for uh, drills and having enough. But uh, yeah, that's almost a mix of half square, half round. I will contact DAC about that one and I mean I know it's an old stock so I'm not worried about the old stock they'll send me replacements it's just whether or not it needs um, you know 50 drills or 150 drills that I'm going to be short because I've got round drills and they're bigger so they're not going to fit in either so yeah there's just that so I'll be onto them just to see if I can get some drills on the way 606 is an orange red 600 is a pink, 743 is yellow, 
3778 is kind of peachy pink. 351, which is like the next tone to it, which is slightly darker. 415 is gray. 124, that's the pink AB. You've got token pink ABs there. There really is not much in the canvas. And that is giving a true to life shimmer. So it's giving a silver shimmer. So it is pulling out that pink in there. Okay, uh, 3024, token gray. 141, very much a token gray. Oh, sorry, token um, in the white in those orbs that are in it. 132 is an orange. And again, that's bringing out the um, pink shimmer. It's not quite as rich an orange as the, what was it, 133 that we saw first. Okay, but it is pulling out the pink shimmer. Uh, 352, which is pink, and 762, which is an off-white. All right. Uh, let's show you the drills. And the colors I can. Sorry, I'm gonna try and get my little hands. Ooh, see, making it hard on myself. Um, there are the colors. Aren't they gorgeous? So there's some light ones down near my thumb, and then the dark, dark, and then her skin is kind of lit by that flame as well. So there you go, Lady Macbeth. If you're interested in this, um it is in low stock and they may not be doing it again so if you're interested I would certainly get in quick I really wanted to get this so I I did jump on it when I had the chance and when it was in stock um so 55 by 80 it's not huge it is one of those comfortable kind of mid sizes uh, it's Mandy Manzano I love Mandy's um work and um yeah that's gonna be really cool I will send DAC a message on their email so support at diamond art club um and just ask them if they can get some drills on the way to me for that because they are short just down to the size and send them a photo as well and um yeah i they will be on the way i know because i have had to ask for drills before and they've shot them through straight away so no issues with that um looking forward to doing this when i get around to it um I have got a square on the go in Galaxy, so I'm going to get the square out of the way before I get into anything else. And um, yeah, glad to have this in my collection. All right, thank you for joining me. There are two playlists that are going to be linked at the end of my video. One is for Diamond Art Club videos and one is for non-Diamond Art Club unboxings. So if you're interested in seeing more, click on either of those for unboxings. Um, if you uh, have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section. and. I will respond or read your message, definitely, anyway. Um, but I will respond if I need to. And the links will be in the description. If you follow my link, I am an affiliate, but I only get an affiliate benefit if you are a brand new customer to Diamond to Art Club. Otherwise, just follow the link because they'll see where the traffic is coming from. And, um, you know, check out the site. They are low in stock on a lot of items. They are getting some new stock in in the next couple of months. It's coming through. So you'll see a big restock and no doubt a big exodus out the door again um as stock is sold with that so yeah um there are, are not many left of this one so please get on board uh 39 colors and four ab's and those ab's are just gorgeous so um yeah nice and bright i will see you around see you next week for another unboxing or see you on any of my other videos on my channel all right thanks for watching bye for now May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.